Hello, this is Vampire here to talk about uh, CM Punk's second fight, which just happened uh, last weekend on Saturday. And this was his second uh, MMA uh, fight. And uh, yeah, um, okay, so, you know, I, I watch the UFC MMA fights and, and combat sports uh, because I, I want to learn from it for the purpose of martial arts and self defense. So that's why I watch that stuff. I'm not watching it as a uh, sport fan, so to speak. So from that perspective, I put myself in there and I go, what if it was me that was there instead of him? How would I have uh, fared? And, uh, you know, the, the two things, I mean, CM Punk was getting criticized like crazy in his first match. And then here in the second one, second one criticized, you know, tremendously as well, right? And uh, what, what I'm saying is that, okay, so if I was in there, right, number one, this dude handled the pressure extremely well. Um, yes, that also comes because of his WWE background. He's used to performing in front of a huge audience and under pressure. So that probably, it's a different kind of pressure, but still, you know, that, that helps him out a lot, you know. At the end of the day, I don't have that kind of experience. I'm not even talking martial arts, but the times that I've performed in front of a massive audience, like thousands of people, is, is less than a handful for me. And the times that I did do it, I went on stage, performed, and then came back. And it's like, what happened? I don't really remember. It was just tunnel vision, just went in and, and, and did my thing. And it was just all instinct. So that means that I don't handle that very well because I'm not used to it. So, you know, that's, that's number one. He, he handled it, I think, very well. And number two is he lasted this time, the second bout, he lasted the full time limit, three rounds, which is five minutes a round. So that's 15 minutes. He lasted 15 minutes. So then I, I have to ask myself, could I last 15 minutes against another fighter, against someone that is not just going to let me, let me impose my will, let me do my strategy. They're going to be, they have their own strategy and they're going to be fighting back. Can I go up against this dude for 15 minutes? And right now, I don't think that I can. Um, yes, I train cardio, you know, I go 20 minutes on the punching bag and I do other cardio exercises and stuff, but uh, yeah, that's different. And uh, can I go 15 minutes against uh, an opponent? I really don't think so at this point. I, d I don't know. So credit to him. He, he did handle pressure and he, uh, you know, lasted three rounds. That was a brutal, brutal match for the guy. To me, it looked like he was digging down deep to continue on and last the, the three rounds. So big, big uh, kudos to him. I'm impressed. I would say to him, that's a victory, bro. You know, you, you did very, very well. I, I can't do it. You did it. So good for you. You know, that that's the way that I feel. Um, you know, because once again, I, I put myself in there. You know, I'm not just sitting back and criticizing. You know, I, I go, what if it was me? All right. Um, the next thing is technique wise. Uh, I actually think and people probably disagree with me. I feel like he knows the techniques and as he was fighting, he was trying to do them. Whether it was a, a takedown or whether it was uh, striking combos or whether it was uh, uh, ground grappling stuff. I believe that he knows the techniques, at least the basic solid amount of them. And if he had uh, a partner with focus mitts or um, a, a heavy bag or... Uh, a sparring partner that was there to help him prepare for a fight. I bet he could do all the moves on in that basically a gym environment. I bet he could do it. It's just that um, if you watch, like when they went to the ground, he threw his legs up to try to like go for a triangle. And the way he did that, that kind of tells me that he knows the technique. So he's going, okay, I need to get a triangle. I'm going to go for a triangle. Just throws his legs up like that is basically doing a Hail Mary going, I hope I get it, and it's really no setup, no body mechanics, and to me, that was the biggest 
weakness or the problem of CM Punk. Everything else, I thought he actually did quite well. So then it's all about body mechanics. Body mechanics is basically like, it's not about the technique. It's about being able to like tie up your opponent as you're scooting your hips out. So you're, and then bringing your legs up on high on their back to start going for a triangle. You know, you're breaking their balance. You're keeping, keeping them close so they can't strike you. See, these aren't really techniques, so to speak, but they get you in the right position. So it's not just guard. It's the correct guard. Because if you just wrap around your legs around your opponent's waist, that's not guard. If you don't do it right, you know, people will punch your face in. But if you do it correctly, then you tie up the arms. You, you keep them forward. You know, you, you keep their weight off their knees so they can't cause a, a so that so they can't make posture you know all, all these things right so those are the body mechanics that takes a long time to to get down that takes unbelievable amounts of dedication and practice and and whatnot that's the thing that like you hear joe rogan and eddie bravo uh talk about like high level jujitsu the moves between a white belt and a black belt is the same. But if you watch a high-level jiu-jitsu guy do the same moves, what's the difference? It's the body mechanics, you know, the, 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 the way he's putting in the force, the way that he's moving, the way that he's, uh, you know, his, his structure is, all that is not the same. And that's the difference. So that's what CM Punk was severely lacking, in my opinion. In the ground game, it was obvious. And then when they were standing, uh, when he was throwing strikes and stuff, to me, it looked like his upper body's over here and his lower body's over there on the other side. That means that he is not in base. He's not in a good stance. He's not able to maintain that. So everything is more like off of like instinct. You know, it's like boom and reflex. So everything's like all over the place rather than, you know, boom, you get hit and this sets you up, sets you up for your next strike. And then you can change levels, go for a takedown. Like it, like everything is is solid, solid, solid. That's not there. So that's all because of body mechanics, you know. So um, I hope it clicks for him at some point, and he goes, I get it now, because I feel like the cardio he showed, he had it. Um, you know, of course he can improve on it. Of course, you know. And then as far as techniques, I believe it was there. Um, and then being able to handle the pressure, I believe it was there. The, the will and the want to fight, I believe that was also there. And then the dedication of training and all that, I think all that was there. So really, it's, it was the body mechanics. There's more stuff, like the ability to listen to your corner, you know, the ability to, uh, you know, feel your opponent or... or uh, uh, try to predict what they're going to do next or you know th there's a lot of things there's a lot of things but as far as those basic stuff goes i thought he had a lot of it it's just the body mechanics was lacking so that's the biggest lesson that i learned from watching that is work on the body mechanics which is great because for me the reason why i started my youtube channel was simply because you see a martial arts tutorial video whether it's on youtube or a video or whatever uh vhs or or whatever and you watch it, and the, the teacher, the martial arts instructor, demonstrates a move with a partner. And then what about the person watching at home? They probably don't have a partner. How are they supposed to practice that? So that's why I made my YouTube channel going, okay, I'm going to focus on solo training. There's stuff that people can practice that's different from, from the partner stuff, and I'm going to focus on that so people can do something at home. And... and the main thing about solo training, what, what, sh what should you be working on when you're doing solo training? Body mechanics, man. So this match right here, to me, confirmed the importance of body mechanics, even for a real life situation. So I thought this was, this was great. And uh, thank you for, uh, for watching and take care, folks.